all right welcome back folks thank you so much for joining if you're new my name is wispy and typically make videos covering for honor fashion so today we're here to check out the new uh armor customizations for i think vikings uh outlanders and woolen definitely looking forward to some metal for the for the vikings fingers crossed so it is, uh, Ooh, oh yes 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 very very clean in fact okay i'm liking what i'm seeing on the one uh, put out this entire year have been clean okay Which i for one appreciate because i'm a big material okay fan. uh if there's not a lot of material options uh for me then i tend to be like oh let me go to someone who's got some who's got some shine i'm the same Fantastic way customization this is also okay, the very first time that ocelotl receives an armor variation so that's very exciting. That is exciting. All right, are Any we going to get the... Uh, uh, our favorite jungle boy gets some more drip added in. That's a good day. Um, so uh, the full view. you can uh, look for these coming, uh, like I said, February 1st through February 22nd. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, shout out to the team, really. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much to the team in Chengdu and the team here in Montreal that helped to create these armor variations. They worked really hard on them. And we, we can't wait for our players to get their hands on them. Yeah, and I so, can't wait uh, either. That's all we have for this segment. I want to thank uh, you. Uh, can for we see? Us again, and I want to thank everyone at home for tuning in. Uh, stay with us because we'll be right back. Uh, we've got patch notes with JC. Oh boy, patch notes. Uh, okay, Raider. Looks interesting. <laughs> interesting stuff. Uh, okay. So is this? I mean, it's it's like clean leather. The Highlander is looking nuts, dude. That looks incredible. Incredible. Where's my guy? Where's the warlord? Show him to me. <laughs> That's actually clean, dude. That is actually clean. Uh, metal on the shoulders, not on the chest, though. I am not mad at it. Uh, where's Valkyrie? Some better? You know what? I like it. I like it. It's clean leather. It's clean. With a material color on it, I bet it's going to look fantastic. Absolutely fabulous. Dude, Chandi's always looking clean. Every every variation with Chandi looks amazing. Like, every time. Okay, I like the uh, the Doctor Strange goatee going on. Jeng Jun, silky shirt. Not mad at it. Some clean metal. Same with Jean Hu. Okay, simple stuff. With a, and he's got the the Doctor Strange gray hair on the side. Nusha. You know I got a farm for it. Pichle just kind of looks like Pichle, honestly. I don't really care all that much about Pichle fashion yes 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 I like that chest for Medjai I'm digging it that is clean dude yes 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 what about a Pharah Okay. Not bad. Once again, very like fine uh, material on the sleeves. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Definitely looking forward to the new uh, Valkyrie and Warlord. See if that metal works with my full metal Warlord fit. All right, uh, yeah, let's check out the patch notes, why not? Let's see what we got. Yeah, Shinobi, right? Yes. So Shinobi's Delete right the now. character. <laughs> Just. Uh, so what we've done is lowered the damage of uh, their head. Delete the character. Get him out of here. Twenty-two and twelve, respectively. Uh, so this, it this doesn't is the belong. Same type of curves that we have on Orochi, right? So before, uh, because you have those combo lights afterwards. His damage output was a little bit too high. So by reducing this, he's more back in line with other heroes that have those type, these types of attacks. Um, if it's still a problem, we can always look back at them a, a little bit later. But for now, we really want to go into that direction. And then we also nerfed the teleport damage. Uh, that's his deflect. So it used to deal 24. 
it now deals 20. So the reason not only that, like you can dodge into better, it, you know, you can double dodge, armor, meaning you have two chances to get uh, your to deflect very, very if you miss the first one sense. or you're just so because safe. Because it is like we felt like we really need to lower the damage there a little bit. Uh, we've had, we've looked a lot uh, at the mm -hmm. pump scene and the data, and uh, that seemed to be like a very, very, like it's, it's a targeted nerf to that specific ability because it's so strong. Because a, uh, Shinobi has a, a, a very good ability to deflect with a double dodge. Like you upping your rate first, of deflect <laughs> is just up, strong. Yeah, so Afira just Afira once again. Also overperforming. Uh, so we're doing uh, some slight Both of here. these two can First dodge, off, uh, the dodge into kick. Now have a bit less out range. of chain. Uh, so if you remember, uh, you probably remember, I, I remember. Uh, when we launched Ephira, <laughs> so those side lights uh, had really, really bad range. And so we increased it so that you would be mm -hmm. able to hit external targets a little bit better. Um, but over time, as players uh, learn the hero more, get more comfortable with her, we, f we saw that that extra range is actually a bit too strong. Yeah, and they become unblockable. These attacks have crushing counters, right? They have superior block. So because of this, uh, it made her really, really difficult to approach in team fights. She could hit you before you could try to hit her. So we've tried to really reduce that effectiveness there a little bit. Uh, we're not going too, too far. You can still hit people externally. We didn't go back to what they were at launch, but they're kind of like it's a nice little middle point. Right? Right. So to, to, to make sure that she's not overbearing and too difficult to, to fight when you when you're uh, when you're in team fights with her. Gotcha. Then we also lowered the top heavy finisher uh, from twenty uh, top heavy opener rather sorry hmm. uh, from uh, to twenty five to twenty seven and the left red moon uh, from sixteen to ten. So this is another targeted nerf here, uh, specifically to our wall splat. Oh, okay, so okay. So you're doing less damage uh, from from wall splat. Heavy, uh, as your finishers. You're doing 35 you rather than 40. What was that? 43. Right, so you deal 16, then 27 off of a bash that you can access after heavy parries, after a lot of situations. This was like a bit too strong. So as a first step, we're lowering this damage, right? So it's been lowered by eight right now. We still want it. To, we still How much does your arm do? This is going to be enough. If it is in the not walls, enough, from the wall splat we'll to heavy action. But for now, we'd rather we take like smaller steps yeah. to get into a comfortable position, but not make the hero uh, too bad to play and make these moves useless. So that's that's the philosophy, right? We're trying to go a little bit step by step, see where we go, see where we land. If it's still too high, we always have the luxury of lowering it, right? Yeah. And so it's one of those things that we like to take our time and to not like annihilate a hero sure. and just go nerf it down to oblivion. That kind of feels good there. Makes sense to me. But that's pretty mm -hmm. much different patch notes. Yeah, I like it. I like uh, it. It's Those are two like characters said, that uh, need to get uh, to pushed down a little bit. But yeah, thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more videos by me, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you're staying safe, healthy, hydrated, motivated, and you know where to find me. I'll be here. I'll be doing this.